हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू दी ऑटोवर्ड चैनल कोलकाता टुडे वी हैव दी हुंडे अलकाजर विद अस दिस इज दी 1.5 लीटर डीजल ऑटोमेटिक सिग्नेचर मॉडल वी हैव सीन अदर वीडियोस ऑफ हुंडे अलकाजर वेयर पीपल हैव टेकन इट आउट फॉर डूइंग माइलेज रन फॉर डूइंग लॉन्ग ड्राइव बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ नाइट ड्राइव रिव्यू विद द हुंडे अलकाजर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू how is the experience of driving at night how is the performance of the headlights the throw of the headlights and the uh, driving experience of the hyundai alcazar at night so this for this run we will be going from kolkata to kolaghat it is it will be a distance of 150 kilometers approximately to and fro we will be driving non stop from kolkata to kolaghat we will have some refreshments there and after that we will be coming back from kolaghat to Kolkata so hope you like the video and you're going to enjoy it it is 7 pm in the evening so let's start with the night drive review with with the Hyundai Alcazar let's go Alcazar is a premium offering from the house of Honda. It was launched in June 2021 last year and since then it has been an instant hit with its other sibling the Honda Creta. So we decided to take the Honda Alcazar for a for a night drive review and we started at 7 pm in the evening from Kolkata. We encountered some city traffic before reaching Vidyasagar Setu which will take us outside Kolkata. into the district of howrah and from there on we will take the kolkata mumbai highway towards kolaghat now when we started we were three people in the alkasar we didn't have any luggage it was night and it was the highways so as soon as we left the city and were on the express way we put on the headlights of the alkasar the old alkasar comes with tri arrow led white headlamps which illuminated the whole road and we had no problems in navigating we encountered very little traffic during our time when we were driving because it was night and at that time of the hour where it was around 9 pm uh, the traffic was very less and we found the roads to be quite empty while my friend was driving the alkasar i i thought of sitting in the third row and checking out how good the ride and comfort of the third row is while riding the alkasar so here i am sitting on the third row of the alkasar there are two seats here we don't have a third seat of course there is no space i have a proper adjustable headrest i also have ac vents here on both the sides i also have a blower blower control on this side so i am very much comfortable and not only that many cars of this size has a lap belt but i have a proper three point seat belt here i am properly safe and secure the car currently is, is being driven at 80 km per hour we are on the highway we are not on the city but there is not much lateral movement neither there is vertical movement so say the third row is quite comfortable in the alkazar my height for reference is 5 ft 7 and i am quite a heavy build the middle seat here is pushed all the way into the front uh, i have just enough leg room i mean i cannot stretch my legs and sit like i am sitting in a recliner but uh, i am still comfortable and because this is the 6 seat version this is not the seven seater one so i have some space in the middle row where usually the uh, fifth passenger will be so i can 
still stretch my right leg so I can still be a little comfortable. This seat is reclined all the way to the back. It does not recline more, but it's, it is a good space. Normally, the space in currents is a little more because it has about 20 millimeter more leg room where, which is utilized in the third row. I have been in the currents. Uh, I have been in the back seat. Uh, that is also quite a spacious space to sit in. This is also very comfortable. And uh, even though I don't have any handlebar here to grab, the three-point seat belts give me enough security so I can spend long hours on it. If you want to sit here, you can sit for almost four or five hours. I don't think that would be a problem. In fact, any person of my height, my size, can really fit in. This space is best suited for kids. They will just love it because they will have a lot of space. If you especially have a dog in your family, he will just love to spend it here. You can fold both the seats, keep it down, spread the towel, and can, you can make your dog comfortable. In fact, I have seen many owners of Alcazar, they buy it specially because it has such a huge room on the third seat which they can fold it and keep their pets comfortable. So overall, quite good. I have uh, cup holders on this side. It is also there on that side. Uh, LED lighting is there. It's white LEDs, so it you know lights up everything here. I can read a book if I want to. I have little glass glass area here, so it's not claustrophobic. Again, I have the big panoramic sunroof in the front. But overall, the space looks very spacious and very airy. I don't mind to spend few hours here. I like it here, honestly. Finally, after crossing the Rupnaren Bridge over the Rupnaren River, we reached our destination in Kolaghat. had come to food express and the food is excellent here and also very reasonably priced and after having food we stopped for taking some photographs and after that we were again on the highway while sitting on the third row was very comfortable in the Alcazar, it was now time for me to check out the middle seats and how good comfort it offers. So right now I'm sitting absolutely in comfort in the second row of Alcazar. Having two seats in the rear have its perk. I can you know spread my legs like a king. I have a lot of space here. I also have hand rest and uh, I have a grab handle here. I have my AC vents which I can adjust since I have two captain seats here the leg room is a lot more than we generally have when we have a bench in the middle i only wish if it had the ventilated seats like we get in the safari i'm sure in the next facelift alcazar will have ventilated seats in the rear and uh, they should add it it will take the comfort of alcazar to our next level right now the front seats are adjusted as per my uh, driving position i am five feet seven inches for your reference i still still have a lot of leg room i have this tray table in the middle i can keep my things here in fact i can keep a ipad here also it also has a space to keep your iphone or ipad and you can just watch it on your journeys it also can hold up to three kgs there's also a space here like a small net 
to keep your things organized so that you don't lose them. In the middle row, there is a central console which also has a storage space in the middle and I have a wireless phone charger. I have three twin cup holders and also some space on the front center console to keep my things. I have the sun blinds. Of course, it's night so I don't need it but in the daytime, under bright sunlight, these sun blinds are a blessing. It really does help. Or still, if you want to have some privacy at night, you can still use them. They are quite handy, by the way. I don't know why uh, the other car manufacturers don't give sun blinds as a standard. For reference, Virtus does not have it. I had to install it separately. And this is a must today for any car. There is LED lighting over the door on this side and also on that side. Uh, I also have LED lighting in the third row. LED lighting is also available in the front seats uh, over the driver and co-driver side. The interior space of the Alcazar, it's very spacious, very roomy. All the light present inside are white LEDs. It lights up the cabin really well. I don't have to switch on my phone flashlight to search for few things if I lose it. So it's very, the light is very good inside. I can see everything. I'm very comfortable. Also, the this is the signature model. There is a top model and it comes with this two soft cushions for both the passengers of the middle row and this makes the journey even more comfortable. Also, I have an option to decline the seats so I can go down if I want to. That makes the sitting even more comfortable. This seat, I can also push all the way back if there are no passengers in the rear, of course. Frees up enormous amount of leg space. In fact, a person of 6 footer or 6.2 also can comfortably sit here. There is no problem of any headroom. Also, the panoramic sunroof makes the cabin space very airy. Even if I pull the seat all the way in the front, I, I still have enough legroom. There is no problem of space. Alcazar is quite spacious in its category. I'm quite comfortable and I think I'm going to take a nap. After being in the third row and second row of the Alcazar, I was eager to get my hands on the steering wheel. So currently we are cruising on the highway. We are driving at 75, 76. We have put on the cruise control. This is the automatic version that we are driving. It's almost midnight right now. You can see the flow of traffic. Right now we are facing some traffic. When we were uh, going towards Polaghat, there was hardly any traffic on this side of the highway. Now there is some, a uh, lot of truck movements are there. Right now we have covered more than 105 kilometers. We are getting a mileage of 20.9 kilometers per liter. We touched 21 just a few moments back, but it's, it has dropped down a little. But again, we'll, I'm sure we'll gain it. Talking about the driving comfort, Alcazar is not only a comfortable car to be in the back seat or in the third row, but it's a very comfortable car to drive, starting with the steering. So I can adjust the steering as, as per my height, as per my requirement. Uh, the top model comes with powered seats. So getting into a comfortable driving position is very easy. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, the MID is completely digital. So it makes seeing the information that is being displayed very easy. All the controls I have uh, are within my reach. The infotainment system is little angled to the driver's position, which makes it very easy to read also. Uh, the display is also very sharp and crisp, which makes it very easy to, to see it in bright sunlight also. The steering is very much weighted. It takes even small inputs and I can turn as, as my requirement. I've seen few videos online where many people have complained that the throw of the headlights is not much. But honestly, uh, we have not felt it. In fact, I have also driven Alcazar earlier uh, in the evening on the highways also. It comes with tri arrow projector headlamps, all are white LEDs, it also has white uh, fog lamps. The throw is sufficient uh, for my needs. I never had any problems whether I am driving in the city or I am driving in highway or I am driving in completely dark conditions. The throw is absolutely adequate. The spread is also good. I never had the need to switch on the fog lamp. Of course, with winters coming in, the fog light will be a little helpful. One small bummer is that the indicators, they are halogens, both in the back and in the front. It would have been great if they were also in LEDs, like the headlights and also the tail lamps. But that's very uh, small niggle. I won't mind it because uh, their performance is very good. This is the automatic signature edition. I also have paddle shifters, but I never 
uh, had the need to use the pedal shifters because the acceleration is very good. Of course, it's not a race car. So if you are thinking that I'm going to buy an automatic car and I'm just going to whiz past traffic, it's not like that. It's a definitely a premium SUV and a city SUV, I'll say. If you drive it with a light foot, you, you get very good mileage. You get good power and pickup, which is required for the city needs. Of course, it can do very good uh, highway runs. I have also driven it at speeds of 140, 120 in a very safe and secured way uh, when the roads were completely empty. It was very stable and uh, I had no problems whatsoever. But normally, like we are driving at, we are cruising at 78 kilometers per hour. Whereas the speed limit is 100, I can still go 200. But it's good because at this speed, I get a very good balance of the power and economy, which is very much required nowadays where the fuel cost of going high every day. Excellent, comfortable car, very good to drive and the steering, this is also a butterfly style steering uh, which makes it very easy to hold it. I can grab it very easily. I don't have any problems as such. It also comes with steering mounted audio controls, cruise controls, voice controls. So everything I have, uh, it's within my reach. The auto AC also functions very well. Right now, we have set the temperature at 24 degrees and we have the fan speed as one. Uh, the outside temperature, our dashboard is showing us 24 degrees. So it's very good, very comfortable. I don't need, I, do, I, I don't feel the need to reduce the temperature it's very much comfortable in here. So yeah, very good driving experience. I'm loving uh, driving the Alcazar. Alcazar at night in the open highways was a great experience and it was nothing short of re sheer pleasure and we didn't realize that we have completed our night drive and we have come home. In our total night drive, we drove for more than 153 kilometers with the Alcazar and got a very impressive mileage of 20.2 km per liter. This was the diesel variant, so it was expected. Also, we covered the entire stretch of our night drive within 4 hours, so that was itself was excellent. Driving the Alcazar was real pleasure. We would be bringing a lot of videos on Alcazar and we will be doing a lot of mileage runs as well. So keep following our channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share the video. Thank you for watching the video. See you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.